It's video number two. Had to delete some previous videos so that I could get this one on there. Anyway, I'm in the same place in the entryway. And this is the dining room area. You have wood shutters all the way around. Nice, really nice soft light. It's a hallway that goes down to two more bedrooms. It's very open. It's nice carpeting in this room with a pony wall here. And then a lot of people use this room as a family room. And it has wood shutters too. We're going to go ahead and proceed into the great room. And I really love this tile. It's kind of done on a diagonal with a inset of a black granite. But it um, goes for the majority of the room, and then it does have an inset of, of carpeting. So as you can see, this is a big room. It has a nice fireplace and a wall space, and you can either put, you know, do a, a nice big built-in there, or you can, you know, do something more um, <clears throat> along the line of what they've done. So again, you have French doors and French and. Uh, wood blinds covering the um, walls here in the windows. And then you have another set of French doors that goes out to the back patio. I'm gonna stand here and pan again. So there's the family room. The entry where I was just standing and you have a nice big glass window over the double entry, the dining room area, and it has a really beautiful kitchen with lots of um, area to sit up to the bar. This could probably hold, I don't know, four or five stools, and uh, I'll be on the other side of that in just a minute. Anyway, so now you can see that we have really good flow. So stepping more into the kitchen area, you have a nice granite countertop and backsplash all the way up. And uh, lots of cupboards, lots of cupboard space, gas stove. And then it's really nice too, the way this opens out onto the great room. because you know how everyone likes to hang out in the kitchen. So here's more counter space over here. Refrigerator, pantry, and more cupboards. Okay, now we're gonna go down the hallway that you saw from the beginning. And uh, this door is a, you know, like a closet, little closet area. And then this is the, um, Laundry room, sink, and some built-in cabinets in here. And then this is the <clears throat> big garage. And remember I was telling you that you have some extra space on the side. And that's all that space. So now coming back in, Sorry if I'm panning too quickly here. I'm gonna go continue on down the hall. There's hall cabinets at the end for um, linens and storage. There's a hall bath done with the same type of um, nice tiles on the diagonal. A double vanity. mirrors. And then there's a separate room with a complete tub shower and of course the toilet. And here's one of the bedrooms at the end of the hall. They're pretty much the same size. And I'm going to pan this way 
and then I'm going to step in and give you another view. Nice double closet doors that slide. That's where I was standing. That's the entrance to the other bedroom. See how windy, a little bit, little bit breezy here today. Kind of cool for the desert anyway. This room's currently painted a shade of green and um, kind of a light colored ceiling. This house is way too new for <clears throat> what we call popcorn. That's was gone a long time ago. <clears throat> anyway, here's another bedroom over here. Almost the same size. And again, this has the double wardrobe. Nice big window for um, sun and warm, ven you know, ventilation. And the flooring in here is the carpet. Carpet's in good shape. It's a nice quality. And personally, I would say that you could move the bed to through the wall that um, is behind me right now if you didn't want to have it on that wall. <clears throat> so we're going to continue on down, down the hallway. We're heading back towards the entry, and then we're going to go to the master bedroom. And the master bedroom... Remember we were talking earlier, there's this little area before you get into the master bedroom. It's not in the photographs because the owners aren't real happy with current bedding, but um, just take that into consideration. It's really a very nice room. It does have French doors, again with wooden blinds, lots of nice light. And I'm going to step over here and pan for you again. So the French doors go out to a covered patio and that goes out to a pool and a jacuzzi and we're going to be going out there in just a minute. So this is a good size room with a large dresser and a, I believe it's a king size bed and double nightstands. One of my favorite parts of this house is coming up, and that, I love this bathroom. But before we get to that, here are some more linen cabinets. <laughs> but I love this bathroom. Oh, this granite tub and shower is just so rich. And there's granite countertops and a double vanity again. Lots of um, windows and natural light in this room, too. And then you have a closet. It's a walk-in, kind of a walk-through, and I'll show you what I mean by that. Because here's one door, and there's the other door. And when you go inside, it's really pretty big. There, and then it goes all the way down over to the other doorway. So this could be, um, you know, double hung, or some people even put a divider in here. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and stand over here and pan from the other end of this room so that you can get another perspective. There's that shower I love so much. And the granite tub. And double sinks. And the commode area. Reflections. And then we're going to go into this extra room that is um, unique to this particular floor plan. 
And this is a room I just opened.